madhimisho ya jamhuri ya mwisho chini ya uongozi wa rais Uhuru Kenyatta safari ilianzia katika ikulu ya Nairobi na kwa mwendo wa taratibu kufuliza hadi katika bustani ya huru ambapo matayarisho kabambe ya kumpokea kiongozi wa taifa yalikuwa yamefanyika akihutubia taifa rais Kenyatta alianza kwa kuhimiza umuhimu wa Kenya kutilia historia manani kwa sababu historia ina uwezo wa kutoa taswira na mwelekeo kwa hatua na maamuzi mbalimbali za wananchi and although their walk to freedom was long and hard the only thing that sustained them was the burning conviction of the righteousness of their cause they were troubled on every side but never distressed they were perplexed but they never fell into despair Rais akiguzia swala la hatma ya taifa hili katika dira ya ulimwengu amestiza umuhimu wa viongozi na wananchi kufikiria na kujiamulia jinsi wangependa taifa hili liwe katika siku za usoni. Rais Kenyatta kwa mara nyingine ametoa mfano wa mataifa kutoka bara Asia ambaye alikuwa katika nafasi sawa kiuchumi na Kenya miongo kadhaa iliyopita lakini kwa sasa yamepiga hatua kubwa kimaendeleo. Allow me as I conclude to give a thought towards that future. If the Asian Tigers were at the same level of development as Kenya in 1963, and I remind Kenyans that our country, our nation, actually lent South Korea money to implement its development plan in 1963, the question we therefore must ask ourselves is what happened. Kulingana na Rais Kenyatta, Kenya vile vile ina uwezo wa kupiga hatua hizo. Mchakato wa kufanyia katiba marekebisho kupitia mtwado wa BBI ulijitokeza katika hatuba ya Rais alipoelezea umuhimu wa hatua hiyo huku akieleza matumaini yake kwamba BBI itarejea tena. For us to secure the elusive shared prosperity and intergenerational equity, we must be bold in our imagination of Kenya at 100. But our imagination cannot follow the popular path it must follow the bold path and indeed vision 2063 must be a bold imagination of what kenya will be at 100 years how to be rise ilifikia kilele kwa matumaini pale rais alipotangaza kuwa kufikia mwisho wa mwaka huu wa kenya watalipa stima kwa bei ya chini ikilinganishwa na jinsi imekuwa ikitozwa hapo awali rais alikamilisha hotuba yake kwa kusitiza amani na uiano huku akitaja baadhi ya hatua ambayo amekiri kuwa yalimsaidia yeye pamoja na viongozi wengine kuleta amani nchini cornelius somuse mwale wa kak with all the problems 